When I first began my career as a children's book author, one of the first books I wrote was The Half-Hearted Hare. All these years later, it's still one of my favorites as it talks about caring for those around us. Rabbits are nice. They're not known to be mean. Long feet and long ears with soft fur in between. But Zack the rabbit was different from most. I don't like anyone, he often would boast. What it boiled down to when the heat was applied is that Zack didn't have a whole heart beating inside. There's nothing worse than a half-hearted hare because a half-hearted hare just doesn't care. Tardy for a party or late for a date, Zack didn't care if he made everyone wait. One day, Zack, as Zack was hopping down a bunny trail, he heard a plea coming from Dale the Snail. Help me! Oh, help me! Oh, please help me, Zack! The train is coming! And I'm stuck on the track! Please, hurry, Zack! The train is almost here! In a few more moments, I'll just be a smear! Hold it, said Zack. Let me think this thing through. Now, this is a hard thing you want me to do. You want me to lift you up off the track. Now, that just might put a bad crick in my back. So maybe I will, but then maybe I won't. Maybe I want to, but maybe I don't. Just then, the happy hawk who was high overhead spotted Dale, the snail, and downward he sped. He was not going to let that little snail die. He swept Dale up just as the train sped by. He set the snail down with a word of advice. Don't ever cross the train tracks unless you look twice. Then he turned to Zack, who was hopping away. Just a minute, Long Ears, I have something to say. That snail was stuck in a very dangerous spot. You could have helped him, but you would not. Thinking just of yourself, it's not a good way to live. You would be much happier if you would learn to give. Helping each other is what makes this life grand. When you see someone in need, lend a helping hand. Keep your big beak out of my business, said Zack. You are not my boss, and that is a fact. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I don't care about snails, and I don't care about you. The hawk shook his head as he took to the air. It seemed there was no hope for the half-hearted hare. Zack was hopping mad when he left the hawk. Zack hopped higher over every flower and rock. The more he hopped, the more he thought. The more he thought, the madder he got. The madder he got, the higher he hopped. He hopped higher and higher until he could not stop. Over the top of a moose and a bear, higher and higher Zack hopped in the air. Over the trees with their branches so high, he hopped until he was high in the sky. The happy hawk was gliding on a warm southern breeze when Zack went shooting up right between his knees. Yikes, said the hawk. He's in trouble now. When he falls back down, he'll land with a pow. Zack looked down, and everything looked small. He flapped his ears, then started to fall. Falling and falling with the wind in his ears, falling and falling, Zack burst into tears. I'm a bad bunny, he cried as he dropped from the clouds. The happy hawk was right he blubbered out loud. At that moment, he felt a tug on his ears. Don't worry, said the hawk. Your buddy is here. When they were back safe on the ground, Zack hugged the hawk and spun him around. I'm so sorry that I didn't take your advice. From this moment on, 
I'm going to be nice. So Zach began caring right then and right there. Soon he was the forest's most thoughtful hare.